and hello welcome to this video of uh, open foam again we put the mic at the right place yeah so here we are uh, last video we wrote the velocity file and the uh, kinematic pressure file okay the kinematic pressure file now comes the challenging part where we start having to write um, the boundary field here we start having to write the boundary field and this is a little bit more challenging because we have uh, many many patches and of course we can yeah, we can actually uh, hard code in uh, how to write patches or we can do it the more you know um, the complicated way where we, we take in uh, x number of patches and then we automatically spell and write all of them out so I guess the simplest way is to learn to do it the hard code way and then we try to change it to be a little bit more automated based on the number of patches we supply it okay so uh, let we can do the hard code way the hard the hard coding way is relatively simple so long as you know your patch names and everything you should be able to uh, write things out okay so uh, let's see okay we have some we have some template to follow already for example writing the internal field Okay, let me keep this open. For example, writing the internal field, we already have some idea how to write this uh, boundary field. So let's uh, let's create a boundary field, some sort of object. And the sole purpose is of course to write uh, uh, boundary fields, okay? So this is a get and set function. And let me start by having, you know, uh, let's, uh, this section, is for boundary field so some disclaimer before i continue this is the first time i'm writing it and i'm writing it in front of you live so uh, i have not actually you know, uh, figured out how to uh, refine and write this properly so i'm i'm figuring out as i go so do be prepared i will go left and right kind of thing so don't expect too much if you want the final results of course you can skip a few a few videos ahead okay so that is the disclaimer um so don't expect the a fast going to the answer. I will be going through the process live. So I also let you know what my thought process is. So let's let's do the easy part first. I'm going to try doing the boundary field bits over here where you have boundary field open and close inverted brackets. Okay, so so three four that f right boundary field. Okay. So this should be very generic. Okay, should be very generic. And what's the uh, what's the method? Okay. So we can copy from the right internal field part. Okay. We'll copy the right internal field part. And then we'll we'll just put it here. Okay? And uh, let's see. We will have this uh, right internal field. We will get the file name and we'll have the internal field value okay so I'm just going to copy wholesale first because uh, well you don't want to reinvent the wheel so let's uh, make it a little bit more uh, gener generic so uh, first thing first is this file name uh, I'm going to delete this internal field value because internal field value is pertaining to this thing over here Whereas for boundary field, there are so many values here. So I'll, I might take a few functions to actually write all of these things out. So uh, this is our something I will delete. Okay. Uh, so, okay. First thing as per normal, we will get uh, the file name. Okay. Then uh, we will write, uh, well, the internal field value and uh, something else then we will write some spaces and everything so actually maybe uh, I'm going to separate the boundary field opener and the closing part into two different parts so uh, the boundary field opener will be here okay and dev right boundary field opener okay uh, self uh, file name okay so that will help you to write the boundary field opener. So what's the boundary field opener? It just says uh, boundary field. And 
nothing much else over here right hmm so let's let's just delete everything we see here there's no uh, brackets or anything so copy word forward boundary field open curly break open curly braces and we'll stop okay so and then we'll close then we will write the boundary field close right boundary field closer self file name and then I'll just do exactly the same things except I'm just writing the close curly braces okay and let's let's go to change this into a close close curly brace and then we'll just delete both of these and let's just note the the spaces over here so there are no spaces prior to uh, this but there's a space after so no spaces prior and then I want one space after F right uh, next line okay so this is uh, right the opening and closing of the boundary field self dot right boundary field opener okay right boundary field opener okay uh, file name equals to file name okay self dot right boundary field closer file name equals to file name so the only thing you supply here is the file name okay so uh, let's start with the easy bits I'm just going to write the, the boundary field opener and closer okay and then let's let me put the, the get functions down there I don't want to have it here the get and set functions should be here so let's just organize our code make it a bit better and I'm just going to visually delete everything so shift V and you just press D to delete very useful um, and then what we can do is save and quit we will do uh, salom okay here we go one two three four uh, okay never mind I'll just go four levels up and uh, I'll run salom and and before I I start testing I want to change the uh, video scripts let me change the input output dot py and uh, the only thing I'll say I want to write the boundary field for both kinetic pressure field and uh, let's see self dot write boundary field what's the file name name equals to p okay and I'll take this one and then I will write this here as well undo please put it here and this will be the velocity file and okay I mean I can do it as per normal all right uh, I can I can just uh, uh, write this uh, write these fields okay I can write these fields as per normal and then I have to close everything and then I got to change four directories up and then I got to read the file right very troublesome so is there a way to read the file the answer is yes yeah okay uh, let's let's go uh, Python Python read text file okay so it will still use the open function however uh, we will be using this the read one so this is uh, f open blah 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 and we'll read the file and then we we'll, uh, there's a close method and I believe that you can print uh, yeah you can print this uh, what do you call that you can print it one by one see I see uh, with uh, you you can read the lines as follows you can 
you can read the lines as follows and you can use this while loop to print everything out line by line so that I don't have to keep going up again and again. So that's what I'm going to try and write. I'm going to have a read object. Okay, dev get read object self file name. Okay, f equals to self dot get open object file name equals to file name mode equals to well now this time it's read and return f so that's how I do the, the read object so that's the getting of the read object then uh, well I'm going to make a function to try and read files okay and then uh, let's go okay let me make a comment section okay here uh, functions methods to read files okay so one two three four def a read file okay so I'm going to or rather read and print file okay self file name okay so that's the read and print file function which I will want <coughs> So um, here's here's the thing. How are we supposed to do it? Uh, f equal uh, line equals to f dot read line. Okay. All right. So this is a uh, reading it line by line. Ah, uh, uh, this is the concise way for line in f print line. Okay for line in uh, okay I need to get the thing first I need to get the read object f equals self dot get read object file name equals to file name okay uh, file name equals to file name and and then the next thing is for line in f print line okay for line in f i need to colon here print line okay so that's just reading and printing the file so let's see whether um let's put it put it in our test vim it will output and Vim input output and live demo cylinder class. Let's go to the test part and then I will try running these two things the read file. Okay, foam writer object, foam writer object dot what is it? Let's say first we need a read and print file. Okay, read and print file, read and print file. Okay, we will have the velocity file foam writer object read and print file. We'll have the pressure object. Okay, let's see whether this works. Fingers crossed. Uh, import link git work directory. Then I will get my uh, workspace object. And then I'll have my test object. And then I'll have my foam writer test. And look, okay, everything is uh, nicely printed out here. Now, of course, the, the boundary field here, it's, uh, uh, well, there, there's a space here which I don't actually like. But let's see whether, you know, it's, uh, it looks the same. Eh? It looks the same. Okay. Eh? I... Okay, so let's vim u. Okay, so this this is looking the right way. The only thing here is that uh, well, there will be spaces between each of these lines. Now, if you don't want the spaces, uh, as you are seeing, it looks like we can use this uh, f dot read function, and that's uh, that's one of the ways to do it. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the the space function. 
uh, not not the space not the space function, but rather, um, let's go to video scripts here, input output and live demo cylinder class. Okay, so read and print file. Let's do mode. Um, let's do mode equals to uh, line or uh, all text. Okay, I'll just call this all text. So, uh, if so here's the here's the deal. If mode equals to uh, let's call this line by line. Okay, or mode equals to one. Alright, mode equals to one, then you'll have this. Okay. And if mode equals to two, I will have something else. Okay, I'll just I'll just use this kind of nomenclature. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, if mode equals to one, you have this. Else if mode equals to two. Uh, we will have uh, f dot read contents equals to f dot read print contents. Okay, so let's try the mode equals two version, and let's see whether this thing works. Get test object and get the form writer test and okay, more or less you have it here. Except of course this thing looks really really ugly. Okay, but. Okay, let's change the default mode to 1 and now it's really up to you to see which one is nicer I I, I can't decide for you because this one this one also will have it all spaced out like this not the nicest but you know so if, if it works it works most importantly is to check the the way of how the output file actually looks like yeah and this is what you want to see here all right so this is this is the the way we can start reading files. Okay. So uh well I, I think most of this uh most of this video kind of is dedicated more to reading files than just writing the boundary field. So uh, uh, I'll just stop here and then next next uh, video we can try writing more stuff into the boundary field. Um and this read file is just to uh, help us to make things better. Um, yeah, more convenient so that we don't have to keep going back and forth. Okay, so see you next time. Bye-bye.